I'm Still Here, Songs from Coma Patient. Is it inappropriate? It might oh, be. Maybe. Fuck. I don't even know. <gasps> I cannot. Maybe my heart beats. <laughs> God, I need to listen to podcasts when I'm not on them. I can hear your jokes, but I can't elaborate. Please don't unplug me. Please don't unplug me. I haven't. What did you do? What did you do? I'm still here. I'm still here. I support the instrumentation. I don't know. <laughs> the instrumentation. Wow. wow. I liked what that guy's I, got going on. I didn't listen to anything, and so I'm taking this out of context. <laughs> Lee, we, uh, we uh, <laughs> dropped our hit album last week called uh, Songs of Coma Patients. I cannot. I <laughs> and the song is called is I'm Still Here. I would like everyone to know that had a problem with it. I, I and hear it was you like, and I see you. It was like, baby, I love you. I don't need it. It's okay. But I can't say it. <laughs> Baby, my heart beats, oh my God. and that's about it. <laughs> wow, that's actually good. <clears throat> well, Equus, you don't need to, no. Well, Equus 9090 uh, actually says, this might be the greatest song lyric ever conceived, and it, I appreciate it, that, It's Equus. a deep song. No one's written this before. This the, is true. You're right. Well, you are right. Let's give no this guy. Hold on. Let's Wait. give let's give this guy some love really quick because absolutely does he deserve it. Devil Man. Yeah, that is a beautiful. The, your your musical tone was transcendent. Devil Nailed Man it. one Nailed two it. six nine. You killed it. The song is called "I'm Still Here." Valley Cast intro <laughs> submission. <laughs> Songs from Coma Patients. I'm still here. So let me say this, Devil Man two six nine. Wonderful work, but can I give you a little bit of con constructive criticism? Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe a little less reverb on the vocals, <laughs> just because I couldn't really hear what was being said, even though I know the bit. Again, constructive criticism. You're very good. I well, love your track. I like the man? reverb. We could just layer another U on top of without it reverb. without reverb, yeah. with the reverb under it, and that would be. But a also sick track. lower the Will reverb Haynes. and lower Solve the, the reverb. Problems, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Billboard yeah. one hundred. It'll Absolutely. be number one hundred. Also double. But, I'd say say double up <laughs> double up the clean vocal tracks yeah, well, too the clean vocal tracks. It, it will be number one yeah, it'll be number 100 it won't be one i have a lyric i want to add uh -uh. actually God oh i it. can't wait joe it uh it, it would go like this so if you're gonna add to the song Who's, it would be this oh we're gonna make this song who is here yeah. who is right here <sighs> it's always you girl <laughs> no, i don't there's a pub in That's my a face. That's a micro no phone zone i really um, no mike sits where you sit Christ. here's my lyric it's uh Baby, I said I'd never let you go, oh, so no. dear God, please don't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're rhyming with go with go? This is our song, Lee. Joe. Guys, welcome to um, the Valley cast. Hold um, on a second. There's one more comment here. Please, I, I want to give this guy his due. He did a great job. All right, keep going with your shit sandwich. I wasn't done, God damn it. Why don't you put some lettuce on that shit sandwich? Yeah, everyone. So this guy said it was really well done, and then Devil Man himself, wow. the man who created the song, said, Thank you very much. Prior to recording, I went and interviewed multiple individuals who were in comas in hopes of being able to not only do the lyrics justice, wow. but also channel the afflicted's inner strife and anguish. This is real, though. And put it into, well, sound. Yeah. Yep, going to hell. Thanks again. Yeah. Oh, man, thank you for coming to hell with us. Join us in this handbasket as we traverse through the seas. I right. had a good song idea. Um, I'm still here. It's so passionate. It's I so emotional. Yeah, I'm, dude, it's, it's going to be a song. in a way yeah. that you don't want to relate, but That's you know. Oh, yeah. Right, I mean, and that's yeah. why you listen to the song. And if everybody yeah. keeps their mouth shut about where we came up with the bit, we might be able to get away with it not being a coma joke and just being a good love song. It's oh, that's true. Song. Especially if we don't mention comas. Do you comas. remember in South Park when they changed all of the love songs to just put Jesus in there and then it like oh, was like, yeah. it like yeah, worked yeah, really yeah. well? Oh, like, this man. is what that Wait, is. Wait, I think I just got the, the idea. This is the perfect idea. This album will just be love songs and it just so happens that they're all not... Not like like pushed like you can't yeah. really tell yeah. it's about comas, but like do you think it's, it's about all does it all have to be about comas or can it yes, just be about all, affliction? I think it should be all from I, the perspective of people in comas. So it's that's like a lot. That's yeah. So it's like songs. why the did whole you, album? Th yeah, there's one song that's like why did you kiss my best friend? 
um, while Will, I'm in the room. Will, do you think it's possible? Will, do you think it's possible to get 12 uh, tracks uh, uh, out of this? I heard you fart. I heard you fart. I smelled Maybe. your fart. Yeah, why'd you look at my Stop penis? Stop farting uh, in my room. Um, yeah, why'd you look at my penis? <laughs> the doctor song. Yeah, the doctor Death ain't cab, shaving uh, me right. Yeah. The doctor ain't shaving me right as fuck. I haven't been scrubbed in three weeks. Death cap for cutie beat us to it. It's called I Will Follow You Into the Dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, welcome no, to the Valley cast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we have a black man on the podcast. Black man, Malcolm Barrett. William oh, Haynes no. is here. Oh, no. I'm not Malcolm. I didn't just get a CBS oh, show. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, Will. Oh, so no. Sorry. Will, Lord. welcome to the Valley Cast. William. This is your first time on the Valley Cast. It is my first it time, is on your first time on the Valley yeah. Cast. Uh, uh, welcome, I've been, buddy. I've been around you guys my whole professional life. So, and that's yeah. been, what three, four years. Three, we're four kind years, of like, like five years. We're kind of like your adoptive uh, parents. Yeah, uh, yeah, they made we me are. be on the show, so you guys had to. Uh, take care of me. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Here I was gonna are. say this was your first Valley Folk thing, but it's not because you've been streaming a lot. I have been on, on, on Twitch, on our, on our, on our on Twitches. Streams, yeah, when are you gonna come let us spray your butthole? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, do you uh, want to do the bidet show? I don't think that he one's for me. I knew, I knew this one wasn't for Will. I'm one of those I folks. knew it. <laughs> you think you would not do it? <laughs> I can't not. have a thing in my ass. Just get the answers right. Uh, right. Well, so welcome, William Haynes, to the Valley Cast. Uh, Joe Beretta, Lee Newton, and myself, Steve Zaragoza, are also here. And the Valley Cast is just a little podcast where the four of us or sometimes the three of us or you know whatever sometimes a guest sometimes like a guest, guest. we all just um bring some kind of topic to the table doesn't will your guest you don't have to have a topic well, be great just, if you did i want to talk about russian uh intervention in the okay so you don't have election. to talk about oh, it actually oh. great yeah, i would love to talk about that uh, actually that, but let's we hold off on. for now <laughs> okay um, i wait let me know just wait for the we'll leave it last so we leave on a light right down collusion no collusion no collusion or no collusion which one do you want either one but yeah so we're just gonna throw topics out and then just fucking shoot the shit and so that's what this is so who wants to talk about something do you have any housekeeping uh, I have housekeeping. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go um, ahead, baby. We, a couple of podcasts ago, we were talking about how our phones are 100% listening to us. Yes. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, Dorito, Dorito, um, Dorito, 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 Three separate Dorito things it that I worked. was like, wait, how is that possible if you weren't on that podcast? Uh, I was on that podcast. It was she on that podcast? Yeah, it wasn't the last one. The Doritos, Doritos, Doritos. Yeah, it wasn't the last it wasn't one. Wasn't the last it was one. Yeah. Okay, prior. look, I don't. I can I just be honest? I don't. Tr I truly do not believe. So our phones are listening to us. If it were true, then I would be. I would get an advertisement for how to murder Lee Newton every <laughs> day, and it just doesn't come well, up. And it just thing, doesn't yeah, come I up. Think, I think murder is a flag thing because I would have how to murder Steve Zaragoza one hundred percent. Yeah, I'm I don't positive. believe it. I, I think murder's a flag thing is what I'm okay. saying. Okay. Well, how they're to definitely um, doing? It. I, they're definitely watching us. I said how to choke Lee Newton too. Why didn't that come out? Did, That's did not get, really murder. Hold on, but because choking could be a good did thing. Did you get some ropes and gag things? Because I got ropes and gag things, and I got a. Hole. I got no ropes and gags. I got a Ginsu Wait, knife hold set. Up. Funny ha ha gags or. You can't breathe gags. You can't breathe gags. Oh. See, that's what I got in my feed. Um, that's that's kind of murderous. That's murderous. Yeah, you, that's you, what I'm saying. Is I think they're sexy. giving me the tools to do it, but they're not letting me know how. All right, to. well, I'll try that's different words. Murderous wording. sounds like an unreleased Fifty Cent track. <laughs> <laughs> that's murderous. murderous. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So wait, weird. you got Doritos. I on got your Doritos phone. in my phone, on my phone, and and I will say this: this could be like such a far, far, far pull from it. But Steve has been. Uh, there's a resurgence that has resurgence that has happened in Steve Zaragoza's life where he is now obsessed with <coughs> excuse me the uh, <laughs> John Travolta said oh man uh, announced um, okay. Adina Menzel and he's been obsessed with it lately <laughs> yeah. he's been Love playing it. it 15 times a day yeah. where yeah. he goes the wickedly Lee talented he is so Adele Adele one and only yeah. yeah no he goes Adele ladies and gentlemen the wickedly <laughs> talented one and only Adele Tazi. Yeah. Wickedly. Dude, but the yeah. fact that he puts like an accent, Adele Tazi. <laughs> like, who the fuck do you think you're... It's because uh, Alana just showed me and Steve Frozen. I just saw Frozen for the first time like a week ago. That's wow. a fun and movie. Uh, I mean, and you know that must be crazy because for like five years, yes. everything... Yes. 
was frozen. Yeah, fully. Like you can't everything you from the dollar escape store. Frozen, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you didn't have kids. Yeah, yeah. if you had kids, yeah, man. if you have like a daughter, like they're gonna play that let it go mm-hmm. till you die. Yeah. And so I had yeah. no idea what that was until last week, and I'm glad to say it actually is a very good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's, it's quite entertaining. I think the troll <laughs> stuff can be cut out. I think all oh, the like weird troll that. stuff. Yeah. Troll the troll oh, stuff yeah. is shoehorned in it. Yeah. And it probably won't be in the second one. They want to sell toys. No, I think it probably part of the I don't know the the lore. Yeah, it is. is. Okay, so it that's is. what it is. Oh. Okay. Uh, um, oh. But oh, okay, that, that makes sense. Like it is. Part, like, because it's like very Nordic uh, yeah. f- fairy tale, basically. Got um, it. Yeah. So I think that's why yeah, it, they it suck. was in Those there. Those trolls do. Yeah. Not. You're it's right. Just, like the music's I not good. I didn't think and... about it until you just mentioned it. I'm like, oh, that was in the movie twice, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just said to sell the toys. Yeah. I have never seen a troll yeah. toy. Yeah, from yeah. And even, yeah I haven't either. And even if they did exist, I don't think anybody wants them. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. They want Elsa, which is really cool. Or Olaf or whatever. What I also liked about the- Dick Hole. Which one is it? Uh, the, the, she like the the character the, the, the reindeer's brother Dick, Dick Hole. Hole. Yeah, <laughs> I, I caught Prince, on immediately. Prince Dick Hole. Prince, Prince Dick Hole the deer. <coughs> as soon as you turn on the movie, like there's a scene in the beginning where like she's like doing ice for her sister. As soon as you she comes out, I'm like, this girl's an abomination. Like she's she like, is, wow. she's terrible. She's ice. Magneto it, level it's not, terrifying. It's not cute yeah. at all. You mean a little kid is like yeah. in the room, like making all this ice? And I was like, she's definitely the most powerful, yeah, Disney character ever. ever. Yeah, I even didn't Maleficent think, I, has I nothing on her. Yeah, You're I right. hadn't she thought is, about it as a kid. That's and, what we should yeah. do with our next March. Whatever is like that. That who's, one, the, who's the most who's powerful? The most powerful? I or think like it's Elsa. who would Disney character, not just princess? Because we've done the Disney princess debate. Like who would win a big battle royale? It's always Elsa. And I think we can. It's always Elsa. Elsa and, and Mulan, Mulan and, Mulan. and yeah. uh, kind of Moana kind of snuck in there because she can control the ocean. But then Steve was like, she doesn't see, get to control the ocean. See, then she freezes the ocean. She freezes the ocean, you're done. Yeah. Freeze the ocean, you're yeah. done. She did it by accident in this movie, so yeah. she got upset. So. Wait a minute. but <laughs> yeah, if, She's if, like if, dark phoenix, but question. with, yeah, she with really is. ice powers. Question, yeah, serious question. <laughs> okay. If Moana can control the ocean. Uh-huh. I think ocean. The ocean. ocean. Does that mean that she can also control, like she can just control water? No, it was just the ocean. Just it ocean is definitely water. just definitely the ocean. Just yeah. the and ocean. I'm saying she can control the ocean. That's not fair. The ocean is actually autonomous and kind of does its own thing, but just uh, happens to have her back. The to ocean have her has back. her back. Oh, yeah. See, that's a, bu- so that's that's a bigger that's thing. That's not, so she doesn't actually have like a, like a magical no, power. No, she can't like move it. It can just be kind of like feeling. Mm. Yeah, that's she's a, just she's strong-willed and, it. and yeah. she's, she's strong and smart. That's difficult, But she doesn't quite yeah. have Mulan any will kill personal you. magical Mulan will kill you. Abilities. Mulan will yeah. kill you. Yeah. Mulan, and Mulan has that rage. Mulan's like <laughs> Yeah, I think Mulan's She's been held down I, by the I think Mulan's done for with Elsa though. I do think oh, with I Elsa. Think, the I think long distance. With Elsa. It's Elsa, just yeah. over. I think yeah. anybody in the Disney lore ever. Okay, so let's say let's say any mm. other character genie yeah, Genie might be the only other Genie one. Genie versus Genie. Elsa. Genie's free now too, man. And he's free. He can do what yeah, he wants. But, he can do but whatever like, he wants. He can't kill them. Oh, you're talking yeah. Genie now. So he could basically take Elsa, put her in a sand pit where she doesn't have anything that she can necessarily but, but freeze can over. The, the Genie yeah. still has his know. powers of a Genie yeah. without being a Genie? You saw what genie? he did yeah. when he got freed. Yeah, those he things, was like, those oh, cuffs snap. came off and then he was like, boom, I'm out. I'm still, I'm, I got like, my goofy clothes on. Yeah, he came back from Disney World or something. He's like, I'm in the 90s now. Like, so. Yeah, all of a sudden. But he can't like, like he probably can't grant w- he doesn't grant wishes. He's just got magic. magic now, he's just got magic. But he has the he Same still has the magic had. as granting wishes. Yes. He's wow. pretty invincible as well. Yeah, I don't think he can, he can take damage. I think he could kill I Elsa. Right. Yeah. I think he could. This is very dumb. What can Triton do? <laughs> he's just he's Triton? just a badass. Nothing. No, because I think he does. I, I think, think he, he also controls like some ocean. ocean and... Let me find out. Triton is still known to have a great degree of strength to the point that enemies of Atlantica, Atlantica, like Ursula, avoid getting into direct physical confrontation with him. He it's has superhuman strength? superhuman speed. Oh, Triton is still wow. known Underwater. to have a great Underwater. degree Underwater. of superhuman <laughs> speed as he can move amazingly fast in the water, even for a merman. Even for a mermaid. Ooh, listen to this though. Ooh. Despite this, he's still not as fast as Ariel, <laughs> who is the fastest mermaid in all of I'm not hearing is any she? ocean control or light. Okay, okay, here we go. Speed. Yeah, who wrote this? Wait a minute. <laughs> Superhuman speed and speed swimming is no another way. category. <laughs> Underwater breathing. Despite despite all of this, <laughs> okay, he is so not listen. as fast as Ariel. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> Underwater breathing, sure. He is a king. And all right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> and of course, his gold trident is one of our. 
our favorite. Okay, okay, so but listen. But Ariel by far, because of her integrity and great looks, is a faster swimmer. <laughs> Plus she has all heard. of her whatchamacallits and doodads and at her disposal. A plenty. It has been brought up that she might <laughs> actually have a hoarding problem due to the early death of her mother. Okay, so <laughs> Triton can also breathe yeah. underwater. He has aqua aquapathy. What? He's capable aqua of speaking empathy? with aqu- aquatic oh. fauna. Empathy. Oh. oh, coral can... and shit. Oh, he oh, also has so he also has aquakinesis, <laughs> <laughs> but a Who higher is this level. Person writing this. Yeah. He was yeah. able. Oh, in in the Little Mermaid two, he was able to lift himself himself out of the water with a summoned wave form, <laughs> and sustain his position by channeling and funneling moving water to secure his oh stance. Wait, I'll take wait, that wait, one. Ready? Elsa's gonna freeze this that is, shit. This is oh, Elsa, okay. Freeze. Thermo I mean, endurance as a merman, he's oh has the ability God. to endure temperatures far more extreme than would be survived for a normal human. But not ice. Do you guys? I don't on. know. Hold and on. then and atmo he has he might at, be able to and finally that. he has atmokinesis. One of the sailors impa- implies at the beginning of the film that Triton can alter the weather, specifically that relating to the sea, to okay. have favorable or unfavorable sailing video? conditions depending oh. on his mood. That's Moana. pretty good. Pause. Hold on. Do you not picture like this person typing this and then just like someone comes in eating a freaking bologna sandwich is like. Oh, don't forget to put that he has aqua kinesis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck. I almost forgot. Hold almost forgot. On. Don't forget to put. What is that? A um, uh, Q U A? I think because remember K- in, in a Mermaid Listen. 2, when the sailor was like, he can control weather. Listen, so I, I, you know what? I can, can I say oh, this? Lee, I'm telling you, can't joke anymore about that. <laughs> You cannot joke about my <laughs> my people um, that are making fun nerdy observations about the it. Disney lore. No, I love. Are you, are, you are me? making fun of these people, I, and I just guys, every, guys, back it up, back guys, it up. Is Lee making fun of guys, nerds, guys? Mm-hmm. Just mermaid nerds. <laughs> just mermaid nerds. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I am so nerd. I'm so happy this exists wow. yeah, because we course. can actually I'm make. Our like hey, roster of who I'm gonna could... throw some more people into okay. our our, our, right. our, our conversation battle. Are you okay, ready? Okay, okay. Some, some overlooked people. Okay, I'll get ready to um, look the, look these people up. Uh, Better tab open. Hercules tab open. is a literal. Hercules. He's a god oh! killer. Hercules and is also, a god killer. Also Hercules. from Hercules. I don't know what how like how he's main like of a character Thor has to be. He's like the Thor of Disney. Hades. Yeah. Hades is a pretty crazy. Oh mofo. yeah, Hades. Run Hades. hell, his, his yeah, hot. man. Zeus, but I don't his know how Hades like. Ain't nothing. So, okay. so Hercules in general has a pretty good one going. Malif- Maleficent is Maleficent. Mali- what I Maleficent said? would be Maleficent. a battle. It would be a battle. It's, it's Malif- Maleficent. Maleficent. It, it, Milano. This would Maleficent. Be a good battle. Milano. I would Maleficent. Maleficent Milano. <laughs> Maleficent Milano. <laughs> Al- Alyssa Milano. An anime Maleficent Milano versus Elsa would be tight because she has fire, right? Let's yeah. see. I'm going to who? I'm Maleficent. Yeah. And she's a dragon. And she's a dragon. Like when she's yeah. in the dragon oh, shit. form she and she's can real do dragon. Okay, uh, hang on. I'm looking uh, up Maleficent. Oh my god, she can Who's, melt all the powers ice. do you want to <gasps> Hear about Maleficent. Maleficent? Would be a battle. Yeah, let's, let's talk about Maleficent. I'll just go Milana. real quick through Maleficent's Milana. powers. But Elsa is Bruto, and she's not even trying. So, if but she was I'm saying upset, if she's icy, okay. It? So powerful magic. Maleficent is the Please most powerful, do. the most powerful fairy and ruthless guardian of the Moors. Her powers increase when she succumbs to her feelings of hatred and the desire for revenge. When she uses her powers, I'm turning your mic off. When she uses her powers to do something good, her magic manifests as yellow. But when she uses her powers to do something evil, it manifests as green. So she's got telekinesis. Yep. She's got weather control. Yep. She has transfiguration. Yep. Which she can transform others, objects, people, and animals, both shape and form. Yep. She can make people sleep. She can manipulate plants. That, that, she keep moving. That's a different movie. No, Sleeping Beauty, her. dude. That is her, yeah. yeah. She can manipulate plants. She can cast spells, which... which. Okay, this is a little OP now. I mean... She, She's pretty OP. Oh, she heals. <laughs> she abis- she ab- possesses the ability to heal any now, wound and injury. Will's mic now. Yeah. She has telep- telepathy and clairvoyance. Guys, I think it might be Maleficent. Holy it shit! It would be a battle. Yeah, but she was beat by a dude she- with a sword. True. Yeah, but he that's, was that's like sexism time, He was though. a dude with a sword. Yeah, but yeah. like oh. that piece- Preach, Will yeah, Haynes. This is, sexism. I'm just this a is guy. sexism I'm a time. Guy. Yeah, but <laughs> also, sec- also, so there were preach. others. Yeah, other, there, there were, there were other psychological implications yes, of the flawed so character this at the time. So true. 
Um, but I will say, if we, but we're just, we're not talking about we're just kind rapping. of, we're not talking about baggage. Because like Elsa's got fucking baggage. Oh, baggage yeah. beyond. So like, I mean, I think we're just I doing think... powers. We're just and doing how powers. Old is Maleficent like a yes, million. Yes, Joe. Ooh, hold my hand up. Probably ba- yes, Joe. Steve, a uh, bad guy from Black Cauldron. Oh yeah, the gnome. I haven't King seen that, but something. I've seen some clips from yeah. it. The, it's okay, like the gnome. I'm I'm beginning to think Maleficent might be it, and I'm also beginning to think, and maybe this is just me because of the standards put on women, and because of the jealousy, and because it's just like we're constantly feigning and fighting for youth. The there is, of course, King. there's that little issue there. I'm beginning to think that Maleficent might have stood in her own way, and she let herself get stabbed. Oh, she <laughs> might have. I could see <laughs> She's that. Like, maybe, I've done enough. Maybe she was honestly. Like smog. She's just yeah. like it's fine. It, maybe she was like point. smog. <laughs> yes, but. Instead of ha- missing a piece of her armor around her heart, she yeah. was just missing a piece of herself. Yeah, wow. that's what I'm saying. You know? Do you remember at SourceFed? I'm trying to remember what the verses was. I was trying. I was constantly oh, you were making a Dis- fighting game. It was like Capcom versus Marvel, but it was with Disney. It was mm. like Disney oh my versus. God. Maybe it was Disney versus Capcom or Disney, Disney versus Marvel. How fun would that yeah, be? Yeah, that's a real. Uh, that's Disney real. versus Marvel. Well, they bought it, so now they yeah. can do it. Because it'd be like Hercules yeah. versus Thor, and it right. would be like That'd shit be like that. that what would a be cool pretty, video game yeah, that would, I would be. Can Thor I fly? No. Yeah. He his just, his he hammer makes him fly. His hammer makes him fly. Yeah. yeah. So that's his. I've been watching Also, he's Ragnarok Chris Hemsworth, and he's a baby boy. <laughs> yeah. um, we did realize, we asked actually yesterday at lunch, what what. Uh, Avenger in the Avenger universe, would you make love to? Oh my and god! And what were, you weren't there, Steve? Were you there? For no. what? We asked of the Avengers, what, what you had Avenger a qualifier, man? What would Avenger you, man? What Avenger yeah. man would you make love to? And Joe, what oh. was yours? Oh, Hemsworth. 100%. Hemsworth, one hundred percent. Make love to. And then Elliot to. was uh, Tony Stark. Yep. I think obviously. 100%. Yeah, I think it's Stark. It's you think it's Stark? It's either it's either Stark or um. Or Cap. Because I'm not into muscles really, so I I'm feel into like funny, which is I think I'm why I, I, I feel like, you should go for like, Paul, uh, Ant Man. I think Hemsworth oh, would. Br- yeah. No, Paul Rudd has muscles too. Have you seen him in Ant Man? No, I think he has muscles. I will watch Ant Man tonight. You should see Ant Man. <laughs> I, I I I'm not I into no the one like. Call me or text me. I will watch. <laughs> like I'm not looking for the for the um like the six pack and the I'm not yeah, looking for that. Here's my so thing. I'm either going I'm yeah, either going right. Stark yeah. or I'm going Ruffalo. That's what I thought. I was actually going to say Mark yesterday. Ruffalo's. I was going to be like, I think Steve's going to pick Mark Ruffalo. But also um, Chris Pratt. I mean, no, he's yeah, too muscly. He's too muscly yeah. now. Okay, but here's what I Chris think Pratt, too. Parks and Rec. Yeah. That's Amy why Madden I might Infinity be Chris War. Pratt. But I, I mean, like, I might go Chris Pratt because he's funny and he's muscly. And yeah, I but love he's good, also like I love a creeper, a isn't he? That's isn't he crazy? Thing. Chris Pratt. Yeah. No, but it, don't go Star Lord. We got to go Star Lord. He's not a. Creeper. We're going. He's, there's just something. He's just very religious right now. Yeah, but like to the point where it's like problematic. Guys, he's saying bad shit. This is not shit. what we're talking. We're talking about <laughs> the, character? the characters. I would so never Star-Lord. get with Star Lord. Yeah, I would not get. That's what I'm saying. Star Lord. Okay, now if we're talking about go. the girls. Did we talk about the no, girls? No, not yet. Not yet. Because oh, I'm going to say that I would 100 percent go. <laughs> I think I'd go Captain America just because I think he's super he funny would never and cheat. he's. Should yes. we do the ads and then baby boy. let's do let's do ads and then do our favorite girl who which girl MCU character boy. would we want to be with? Okay, I'll start out. Will you pick, will oh you pick me goodness. up some music? Baby? Yeah, Joe. What are you What are you thinking? What do you want to uh, What just, are you feeling? Hey, you know oh, what? I Dealer's choice. It. Dealer's choice. Okay, let's do. Um, <laughs> you guys, right after these messages, <laughs> we will talk about what Avengers ladies we <laughs> would love to have consensual relations with. Wow. Here we after go. Let's these do this. Messages. Let's do this. Hey guys, I want to talk about Express V. PN. Admit it. You think that cybercrime is something that happens to other people. Well, you may true. think that no one wants your data or that hackers grab your passwords or credit card or they're not going to grab your passwords or credit card details, but you'd be wrong. Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make money. When you leave your internet connection unencrypted, you might as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a huge billboard for the rest of the world to see. Right, Will? Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. That'd be dumb of me. I won't make that happen. That's right. That's why I decided to take action to protect myself from other cyber criminals. Yeah, I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN What is ExpressVPN, Joe? Well, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. I have some bullet points that will help explain the situation. I can't wait. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. Mm-hmm. ExpressVPN is easy to use in its easy-to-use app, and it runs seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, or tablet. Turning on ExpressVPN protection only takes one click, and I can safely surf on public public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having my personal True. data stolen. For less than $7 a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection yeah. that I have. 
And ExpressVPN is rated the number one service by Tech Radar and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's Ooh, a company that's that nice. believes in itself, that's everybody. Tight. That's tight. So, good price. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com/valleycast. That's e x p r e s s v p n dot com slash valleycast for three months free and a one year package. Visit express dot com slash valleycast to learn more. Ooh, baby, yeah. Protect your activity today, everybody. Oh, I love it. We didn't necessarily mm-hmm. figure out who is going to win the Disney journey, but you well, know, it's up for debate. It's okay, so it is up for debate. Let me pull it was up some. I think we can figure out the final four. Yeah. Are Hercules, Genie, no, final five. Hercules, Hercules, Genie, Maleficent, Elsa, Merlin. Those are pretty good. Yep. Oh. All right. Up um, for debate. Okay. Yeah. Guys, now it's time for us to talk about oh, wow. which female superhero <laughs> from the Marvel universe. No. From, from the, the Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe. universe. Can you say Avengers, really? Can we just say Avengers? No, yeah, no. Marvel Cinematic that? Universe. Yeah, I mean, yeah I because so. Chris Pratt was in it. So What I just realized just now is that they... Avengers. Heavily no? sexualized. The he's not officially an Avenger. He's not officially. Yeah. Even. I'm talking about like Avengers Endgame and whatever. Blah, 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 and again, we're talking blah, blah, blah. about after uh, months, maybe even years of courting, uh, getting to know one another. Um, promise I also, rings. I want people to know that um, the personality vows. has to be a really big part of it. Because again, Captain America might be too serious for me, but I do he like that so because I, am, I do appreciate being the the odd one in the relationship right now. Yeah, like Tom is really all odd. All in some all right, all right. We've already we've done the we've done the the men. Let's do the women now. Okay. Right. Let's that get let's move enough. on. Wait, did you said Ruffalo for sure? Like, yeah, I, well, it's between Stark and Ruffalo. Yeah, it's between Stark and. Um, Can I ask you this? Ruffalo like, is really? the guy that works down at Ruffalo's Pizza. Yes, that's right. Yo, I'm Ruffalo. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I you want some that you pepperoni? Had a really fun Thanks Mark for coming Ruffalo to Ruffalo's. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Lee. What's the question? Um, the question is, is uh, again, we're talking, we're talking relationships. I think we really are. So personality has to be a factor. Um, for these, for the women of the MCU, the yeah. of, the, of course. Yeah. Wait, why did you have so many stipulations on the men? Yes, I did. I mean, I, I inherently had. Them. I said oh, I, we talked yeah. about like a relationship. Okay, uh, okay. I really all right, all right. I'm going right, with Hemsworth right. specifically yes. because. I can get my Stark from him now because of Thor Ragnarok. He's yes, a funny guy he's now. he's a funny guy. So yeah. I get the muscles a, and I get the now. funny yeah. and I get the accent. Yeah. Oh. And I'm going with <laughs> Captain America because I kind of, there's a part of me that finds him boring and I need to be the funny one in the relationship. That makes sense. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm sorry, Joe. Who are you saying? I was Hemsworth. Okay, ha- okay. Up. What now? The girls, though. Let's talk about the girls. That, the thing Wait, is, Will. The, who are you? Wait. I, I'm definitely Robert Downey Jr. I'm yes, Iron Man all okay, day long. Okay. Okay. All that's right. My that's guy. good to know. That's good to know. There's now that you mentioned, like I realized that like Marvel is like mainly sexy dudes. Yeah. It's yeah. not as much about the chicks. Like yes. I'm like, got, who is the female? Like you have Black Scarlet Black Witch. Widow. You have Black Scarlet Widow. Witch, Black Widow. You have. Here's Valkyrie from Ragnarok. From yeah, Ragnarok. you have um, Gamora. Yes, you do. You Gamora. have Gamora, and you have um, now Gamora's you have everyone sister. from you have Hope, Black Panther, Hope Black Van Dyne, who is Ant Man's yes, Evangeline Lilly's uh, Wasp. She's very pretty. You have Wasp. They're you have serious. Wasp. Evangeline. You have Lilly. all the. You have Carol. You have all the girls from Wakanda. Yeah, you have mm-hmm. everyone from Wakanda. You have you have Natalie Portman, even yeah. though she's not. Well, she's no, she's not. Well, she was she was Thor's girlfriend. Um, and this yeah. is just not in Ragnarok. Don't, Scarlet don't Witch. Yeah, don't ever watch those other films. Scarlet Witch. Agent Carter. Yep. Oh, Miss uh, Marvel, Captain Marvel. Oh, you Aunt, have Captain dude, Marvel. Dude, Aunt May. <gasps> Aunt May? Which yeah. one? Oh, it's Amazing over. Spider-Man. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Amazing Spider-Man Aunt May Wait, is hot. I thought sure. we were talking. No, our stipulation is Are you is fucking not- kidding oh, me? So it's over. She's no, so we're talking hot. about it actual it's superheroes. Like in the we're movie. I, honestly, even if I had a choice of a superhero, <laughs> I'd go for no, fucking Rissa Tobey. No, you can't. You have to go superhero. All right, all right. I'll go superhero. All right, let's see. I'm going to go with Valkyrie. I get it. Does Pepper Potts count? Because that's, that's, that's who I also would have chosen. I mean, she's so But she's not a superhero. I mean, I would marry her, though. I would make her my wife. We're talking. Yeah. About, we're not talking oh, about the universe. Captain Marvel. About, yeah, um, Ka- Carol. Well, I think it's such a funny name. For Mantis. Me. Jessica Carol. Jones. Mantis. Mm, I'm not really. Into Mantis make you feel. I mean, things. I think Valkyrie might that be my cool, girl. Valkyrie. I like a girl that can whip my ass. <sighs> yeah. Dude, Valkyrie. Tessa ass. Thompson. Yeah. Tessa Thompson, baby. <sighs> She's the one. I think it might be Valkyrie. She has a substance a babe, abuse problem. Dude. In the movie, yeah, yeah but yeah, that's fine. but it's, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be a it doesn't actually seem to be a problem yet though. Uh, <laughs> he's, she's high functioning. She's high functioning. <laughs> she's high functioning. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. I mean, I love I like Carol because she's a badass, but 
I really think I might be going Valkyrie. I'm going Valkyrie she's too. She's such a babe. yeah, man. And she's I will such say this, a babe. I actually said this when we walked out because I went and saw uh, Captain Marvel with a bunch of women, like you do. I was gonna say Captain Marvel's the other um, one. That's who she's saying, yeah. Carol. Yeah. Well, Carol. Oh, Carol she's Amber's calling Captain Marvel yeah. Carol because I think it's really funny to diminish her down to Carol. <laughs> <laughs> like she's the most powerful one in the universe. Carol, and she's like, help. Carol, yeah, Carol, Carol. <laughs> Carol. I mean, fucking Captain America's Steve. I know that's what I think is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Like Steve and Carol. And Tony. Tony. That I like true. Tony better than Steve and Carol. Yeah. Um, they do have old names. Just yeah, they have names. because it's yeah. written back in the day yeah. where they're like, yeah, Rico Carol. The okay. fucking the thing that will just never work for me in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this current phase sure. is the fact that they just call Doctor like we're in a real we're like as real as we can possibly get with these superheroes in our real world yes. mm-hmm. and it's still like Stephen Strange yeah, yes. the name. is the yeah. man's actual yeah, name. The actual name. <laughs> Do you remember that Rick and Morty bit where he was like, wait, oh, got something. Ca- Coach Ferratu went by Oh Coach Ferratu's Coach very and he's like, wait, he went by Coach Ferratu went by a famous vampire name? Well no wonder <laughs> they figured out that he was a vampire. <laughs> Alright, I have my answer. Alright, Joe. Oh. Assuming it doesn't have to it sounds like it just has to be a powerful person because the Valkyrie is not part of the Avengers. So Can you believe we're getting a Black Widow Dude, movie? Who wants that yeah, shit? My answer is um Thor's sister played by Kate Blanchett. Uh. Oh, my, oh that's yeah, what I'm yeah. Um if what's we her can name? Do that. Fuck, oh, it's like something really stupid. Look at Carol. It <laughs> no, Diane. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Diane! She's so <laughs> she's, sexy if, in that okay, movie. Yeah, but the like, case, she's going to murder you. Like, she's care. an evil person. With her vagina. Away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> murder away, she baby. Plays, uh, you she, mean, it's Kate Blanchett. She's like knife god. The Leon. name is so weird. It's like, it's like, uh, it's right on the, oh, Hella. 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 Hella all over me. So here's the thing. If if that is the case, because I would just go. Like we need two answers then. We need specific Avengers because if we're just going Avengers, I would, I would be oh Avengers. Well, then Avengers, there's only two. I'd be Carol. Yeah, you gotta. No, there's like three. I, I think it's Scarlet Witch for me. Scarlet Witch. If, if we're going Avengers, one of the Olsen yeah. triplets. She's the she's the, the hottest Olsen of the triplets. Olsen triplets in my opinion. She is the hottest of the Olsen triplets by far. I mean, I love Scarlett Johansson and I think she's a gorgeous person, but the Black Widow character just doesn't. I really feel do bad it for saying me. this, and I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for it. Scarlet Witch has. I do feel very bad about this because I grew up reading Captain Marvel because it was one of those where I I wanted to, and and I think Carol Danvers was a really good like she was sarcastic she, and like it was what what was that. Why is there music on in this? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I love Are you it. just giving her a back backing track? Did you just realize that this is beautiful? No, this is just the music that's playing for our sexy oh girls God. of the Avengers. Oh my you God. think this is sexy? I just typed in sexy into the fucking sound ah! library we have. This is it? Uh, it's a shame Sir. Elliot's not here because <laughs> I was hoping he could get this signed God from- damn it, that's fudge! Ah! <laughs> Will, why are you taking shit from my house? Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Can You're you trying do? to get your book I signed. Can I just right, get this book signed? No, I think you should get it signed by Elliot. <laughs> oh, I get it signed by Elliot. Isn't it already oh, signed? Oh, hold on to it. Is it? Oh, it might be. I think it is. This is so mine. Funny. Oh, what you got, baby? Wow. Oh, no, it isn't. It's not. It's it, not. Look, it's a good transition because we're talking about Grace's book. It was about style. Well, now I can get it signed. About, <laughs> hey, let's talk about your style, okay? Do your clothes really show it from the right look to the right fit? Stitch Fix is a has personal stylists that are here to help you look your best. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers clothes, shoes directly to you. It's easy to get started. Just go to stitchfix.com slash valley to answer a few questions about your style preferences. And an expert personal shopper will send you a box of five curated items right to your door. It's really nice and fun every time they do it. It is super nice and fun. Try them on, pay for only what you keep, and return the rest in a prepaid envelope. Shipping exchanges and returns are always free. It's very easy. There's no commitment required. You can sign up for regular shipments or just get new pieces when you need them. It could be by monthly. It can mm-hmm. be anything you want. I've chose the every three months. Oh, baby. There's no commitment required. You sign up for regular shipments. Again, uh, plus the shipping and styling fee is only... Tw- I'm going to say it again. Yeah, start up. Yeah, yeah, rewind. Do it again. The, the whistling is getting yeah, distracting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I worked really hard on these whistles. Oh, okay? God, I would love it if that was hours of your life. Plus, the styling fee <laughs> is only $20, which is applied towards anything you keep from your box, by Nailed the way. It. Uh, Stitch Fix has uh, your favorite brands. You'll never have to think about looking good again with Stitch Fix. So get started today with stitchfix.com slash valley. You'll get an extra 25% off if you keep all the items in your box. So, 
That's <laughs> stitchfix.com slash valley. Stitchfix.com slash valley. And FYI, they sent some things that I would never choose for myself, but I freaking loved it. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's a very fun, fun journey. Nailed it with the music. Yeah, probably. right on time. Damn. Yeah. Headspace. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Headspace. Headspace is your guide to health and happiness. In fact, just 10 days of Headspace has been proven to reduce stress and increase happiness. Mm. (laughs) It will teach you the life-changing skills of meditation and mindfulness in just a few minutes a day. I downloaded uh, Headspace, and um, Alana said, don't do it without me, and uh, got mad at me when I was uh, going through the app and and, and trying to use it. And she said, um, well, let's use it together. And I said, that's not how it works. Yeah. And um, Get out of my head. And then she said, yeah, it does. And then I found out that <laughs> it can. But I wanted to do it alone. Yeah. So yeah, little you time. Yeah. Um. So I hope Alana is not listening to this. I I really like the app, you guys. It's uh, it's really cool. After my breakup, mm. and I was feeling all that residual bad energy. Yeah. You know, I went to Headspace and I listened ten minutes every day, and was able to turn my mental health around. Did you really, Will? No. <laughs> Dang it, Will. <laughs> We'll but you could have. But I could have if I had been in a breakup within many years. What are you saying? You guys want to hear some science? Yes, yeah, please. I do. Let's have some science. Meditation is rooted in tradition, but mm-hmm. also backed by scientific research. Three weeks of headspace reduced aggression Ooh. and reactivity to negative feedback by 57%. Dang. Three weeks. Four weeks of Headspace improved focus by 14%. I need that. 10 days of Headspace (gasps) increased happiness by 5%. Imagine doing something that can increase your happiness. 10 days of Headspace reduced irritability by 27%. Wow. Do you get irate? All the time. Sometimes. Not with this music on. 10 days of Headspace reduced irritability by 27%. And 10 days of Headspace (coughs) reduced stress. That's a big one. By 14%. These are all just good things. Yeah, this is fantastic. Headspace has hundreds of meditation sessions on everything from stress to sleep. There are SOS exercises for meltdown moments and mini meditations for busy days. You'll be guided every step of the way by Headspace co-founder Andy Pudicombe. Say it again. Andy (laughs) Pudicombe, who spent 10 years training as a monk. Guiding exercises to help you add a touch of mindfulness to daily activities like cooking, commuting, eating, and more. (laughs) So guys, start your journey towards a healthier, happier life by subscribing to Headspace. Sign up now at headspace.com slash valleycast. That's headspace.com slash valleycast to get a free month trial and start meditating today. Headspace. (laughs) Thank you, Headspace. (laughs) So earlier this week, we were all talking about um, uh, problematic traits that we might have had when we were kids. And I wanted to kind of like yep. see what everybody's uh, was or were, or if they continued or whatever. For example, when I was growing up, I was a legit pyromaniac. Yeah. <gasps> and I had yeah. friends who were legit kleptomaniacs. Oh, yeah. But my yeah. thing was I loved playing with fire. Like yeah. way mm-hmm. yeah. too much. Mm-hmm. I have since grown out of it. Mostly, like I'm a responsible. But are you enough still man. fascinated by? I'm fi- still fascinated yes, by too. flames. The smell of yep. a struck me match. Too. That yep. that all of that. It, w- it I, wasn't. I didn't get it until me and Steve used to live together and we started doing certain things. I was like, maybe burning, matches <laughs> burning are down dangerous. other yeah. people's houses, burning the midnight oil. <laughs> I used to never touch um, uh, lighters or anything because I, I was a very anxious kid. But then once I started playing with lighters, you see me do it all. It the opened time. a whole world. It opened a whole world. It's I'm just like, fa- dude. This shit's tight. The invention of fire is one of the greatest achievements of humankind, it's also, and it's so fascinating to us on an evolutionary right. yes. level. Fire did not exist 
prior to humans inventing it. Right. Right. <laughs> well, we didn't know how to. We didn't know how <laughs> to harness it. Once we figured it. out how to like make it and then make it go away. Yeah. Then it's like, make it okay. humans make created. It go away. Yeah, humans created <laughs> fire. Um, but that was my thing. Like, and it was like it, the fascination always was probably like three or four steps too many. Like I've told you guys the story where we yeah. had this big grass pile in the backyard, and I just went out one day with a box of matches and was like, strike, throw oh! down, oh! watch it burn for a second, stomp, repeat for like twenty minutes. That's fun. That's how the Montana fire. Yeah, that's exactly. Exactly how it, the it could now. Not what did your then. dad do when he found you? Um, I do believe I was reprimanded. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> he burned me. We uh, <laughs> you like, you like he burned threw stuff? matches on you while you laid down on the patch of yeah. grass. <laughs> and I'm not advocating for any of this, of course. I'm no, just saying what not. I did as a kid. Another thing was matches and lighters and hairspray or aerosol cans oh, of any wow. type. Remember yeah. when kleptomania mm. was the only thing parents were worried about in children on mm. the TV and stuff? I was a huge kleptomaniac. So that yeah. was your thing. You yes. were a But I mean, I think a kleptomaniac means means you burn things down. No, like no, that's, pyro. that's pyromaniac. That's pyromaniac. Ah. If you're a oh, klepto, klepto stealing. Stealing. You're stealing. Got it, got it. Yeah. I think, but I think even kid. both are extremes. Like, you but weren't really a pyromaniac. But let's just say down a different path. Like, if I was to, like, eek into the bad. The only thing that, that stopped my, my kleptomania thing. was I, when I was 17 years old, mm. I got caught at Long's Drugs stealing. Yeah, like really? it was. Oh yeah, like I like my parents got a call and they were like, she was caught stealing, I and never, it was like yeah. a legit, like that was really true. You're I was seventeen. Just, I was seventeen. It was yeah. like a real big deal, but mm-hmm. it was also I You're don't know why. Getting on adulthood no, I was actually too. more. No, it probably wasn't seventeen. It was like fifteen. Because I'm, I'm doing. Yeah. It was like twenty four, twenty five years old. But that's just yesterday. Winona Ryder mm. level. No, <laughs> I, now that I think about it, it was n- definitely not. So it was like freshman year of high school. So that's what. Yeah, 15. you're by fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. So that was like. But I remember. And but it was you also getting caught was good. It was like mm. nail polish and chapstick. It was mm-hmm. never anything like. It was the thrill. These are a few of my favorite things. Nail picture, there's a thrill to it. And little teenage oh. magazine. Ooh, there's a Twinkie. I, I want, want it in my tummy. <laughs> want it in my jeans. I in my jeans and hide in my pants. Mm. These are some things that I'll steal from France. Wink, 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 wink. Uh, the <laughs> these are the things I can fit in my pants. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> For non-blonde CDs and <laughs> and Reese's Pieces. <laughs> That's exact. It's always that like ridiculous. So you're like yeah. hair ties, uh, uh, push-up yeah. pops. Nothing you need. Probably yes. how ring um, pops. Ring pops. How you swift fucking thief. Did your uh, did your strict parents? Oh, make. I mean, imme- <laughs> I mean, immediately, because they were strict. Oh yeah, and also my parents are. They the were best. pillars of the community. They're pillars as well. of the community as well, mm-hmm. uh, as far as uh, and integrity, uh, pillars of integrity in the community as yeah. well. So it was very swift and it was very intense. But my parents are the quite possibly the worst in this way. It is never like extreme punishment grounding for the rest of your life, which it was, but it was more along the lines of just like. Why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it was the always a, like, the and that wrecks yeah. you so much more. The disappunishment. The disappunishment. The disappunishment. Yeah. The disappunishment is the, just like yeah. what did and it was always like what did what did I do mm. to make you think that you could be this person? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's powerful. more on them. It was the worst. Yeah. It was I um so bad. I, I assume we've all stop after that. Stole. And then of course I still steal from Target every single day. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, you guys have like even Never. the tiniest. I Never. I I have I stole a very like the, my friend had this like magic kit that he like it, this was like mm. third grade or something maybe even like uh. second grade mm-hmm. and he, and he had this magic kit and I was like I just want that fucking magic kit <laughs> and I guess wow. I just didn't think about I didn't yeah. even you just wanted I just it. didn't think about it. I was just this little kid and I didn't now fucking you see know it, now you don't yeah and Jake. I took it I took it From and him? I put and no I just p- took it out of the back out of his back because we had these like cubbies cubbies yeah. that we would like open God, up and your backpacks Steven. were there and so I just took his magic kit and I put it in my backpack and then I like went home <gasps> and I like op- I open up my backpack and I put up the magic kit and I'm like I'm like about to dig in <laughs> and my mom comes in and she's like what the hell is that and I was like this oh is my, my magic kit mom <laughs> and she's like where'd you get the magic kit Steve and I was like my friend gave it to me. Oh, <laughs> and she's like, no. no. She's no. like, don't lie. What? Nice. What is this? And I was like, I took it from my friend. Stella. And she's like, you're giving it back. You're, yeah. you're just giving and it you back. And you had to give it back. Yeah, next day I gave it back. And I was like, sorry, I was took your crying? magic kit. 
No, he's just kind of like, what happened to my magic kit? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, I didn't kid. even know it was he's gone. Like, oh, yeah. all right. I gave him back his magic kit. I that was the only thing I ever stole. I just didn't, I yeah. never, yeah. I, I couldn't, never stole. The, uh, the thrill of stealing, I, I think that's why mm. people do it, and you yeah, can probably attest. for sure. I, the thrill of it was never good enough to get over like the stress, stress. and anxiety right. yeah. and right. the guilt that I, I felt yeah. if this I is ever really, did anything I've, like that. This speaks a lot to the testament of like what a child I was, because I was a sick kid, so people just let me get away with so much. And I think that was also we were, so poor growing up that it was like to ask mom for something was such a bigger deal than you know what I mean it was just right. like and you could see like the guilt in her eyes when she'd say no yeah. you're like no I can't and you're like oh shit like that was real that's I like a go real steal some I gotta find CDs. Have but to when you're a kid this. you just want dumb yeah, stuff you, you don't, don't get why you can't exactly have dumb it. stuff you're just like, yeah. it's just a dumb thing and yeah. it was also one of those where like it wasn't like all the time it would be like I'm gonna take this and then like a year would go by and I'd be like oh I'm you know it's like I'm one of those again. but <laughs> yeah. but it is yeah. it's that weird like I'm gonna get this and get to mine and also I I did. I think I got caught a couple times when I was little, and I'd be like, "Oopsie doozy," and yeah. then be like, "Okay, little angel." And I will just, like, say, let me go. small child. I will say that I did steal Alana's heart. <laughs> oh, gross! No. So you're gonna have to give that back. I will give it back. I, I will understand. Give it's back. not my back. possession. It's not yours. Anything I know it's not mine. Steve to take. or Will, when you guys were kids, like uh, anything, it could be like pyro. Yeah. Did you oh, pyro? No, I pyroed a little bit too. We did burn piles a lot growing up, and that was a real fascination well, with me. What about the time you accidentally threw away your mom's purse? <laughs> my mom always tells that story because I was just about to say you could ask my parents if I ever did anything wrong, and they would th- they, they, no. I was I had the most anxiety as a kid, but my mom always tells a story when I was about three <laughs> years old. Uh, I'm not even conscious yet, you know. Uh, <laughs> not even aware of myself. Not even aware of myself. She always tells a story every day. Like uh, she I, she must have done something to me that made me upset. So she goes to the bathroom, and our our downstairs bathroom was right next to our garage. And she comes out of the bathroom and she catches me throwing her purse <laughs> into our messy garage ah! where she would have never found it you know like yes. into the nowhere like you zone. were just gonna toss it yeah because oh she had upset God. me about something so i was Good she caught you. me mid toss because i'm a child and i'm loud and i'm like you'll see this and she caught me throwing it and uh, she has not let that go for That's 25 so funny. years <laughs> i used to do this thing where i would f- i would get like the old like rusted coffee cans that were like out in the backyard like wet Mm -hmm. that were just weather destroyed and I would get like my Ninja Turtle toys and I would get like various like extremely dangerous chemicals from the garage and just pour them all into this (laughs) coffee can and then I would get like a stick and like stir it all up Mm -hmm. and then I would get like a string with my Ninja Turtles and I'd be like no they're gonna go into the mutagen and it was like Roger Rabbit's gonna fall in the dip and like no and I I kept making these like the actual dip was the problem. Dude, yeah. I think the problem is, is I was like making like bombs. Like <laughs> yeah. I was making yeah. like chemical yeah. weapons. Yeah, you're also like making something that's going to kill brain cells like, yeah. immediately. I also yeah. used to, um, so nothing ever came of that really. I, th- I think my parents were like, okay, stop mixing chemicals and yeah. stuff. Because like even like, because you know, we didn't know in the early 80s that like dumping that into, into like the, the drain is yeah. like goes straight to God the ocean. God damn it. Yeah. And probably <laughs> killed like so many fucking yeah. uh, fish or whatever. But so, so I stopped doing that. But then I up upgraded to taking my Han Solo action figure and sticking him in a cup of water and then putting him in the freezer. Oh, oh that's tight. And then like waiting like an hour and then opening it up and then like yes. letting the ice thing like come off of the cup and then just be like, I got a Han and Carbonite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would freeze my toys. Like at any moment, my, our freezer would be, would have like Eggo waffles, <laughs> like yogurt or like, you know, ice cream and then just a bunch of cups with toys in them. That's yeah. so funny. funny. <laughs> That's really good. That I, loved good. Yeah, that oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Let yeah. us know wait, what your weird kid thing was, because I think we're forgetting a couple of weird things. I'm sure we are. Oh, I'm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's you leave know, it like for housekeeping and all those for, different for next things. week. Yeah. Think of something, and for anybody listening too, let us know what weird things you did as a kid. Yeah. And uh, and, and then, we'll bring it up to Elliot, and he'll casually just not answer the question, and we'll move sure. on. Or he'll say something that will shock, shock us, us. Yeah. that we've <laughs> never heard him say, yeah. and then we'll like even wor- we'll worry about him even more as a person. Be like. What? <laughs> Wait, remember that time he long? said, was he the one that said he saw the rolling pins or was that you? No, oh, rolling pin Ronald, man. Rolling God Ronald. damn, what a weird memory. A weird memory. He's, all right, anyway, <laughs> love you, Elliot. Uh, come back soon. Um, but anyway, um, uh, well, yeah, uh, thank you guys. Yeah, Will, thank you for joining well, us. Thanks, um, guys. We didn't do the thing where we actually catch up. What are you doing these days? Let the people know. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh, I can find you. I'm, you. I'm doing everything, you know. I'm... Uh, 
I uh, uh, made a new album, music album, romantic comedy action mm. flick. Where do you get that? On Spotify, Apple Music, under my name, Arsenio Silverstone. I don't have a lot of time. What's the one track you would suggest I listen uh, to? Listen to Your Man. That one's okay. fun. Okay. Uh, is that the single? Yeah, this is, yeah, I think there's two singles to it. But uh, then there's Text Me Back, which is really fun. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I'm on Rhett and Link. That's the one about that. Darren. There yeah. <laughs> there and, uh, you know, me and Darren are in new beef, so uh, go write mean things to him on Twitter for <laughs> oh, me wow. if you can. When have you guys <laughs> yeah. not been in a beef? I told him I only want to be in beef for the next three years. It, it's already, That's yeah. what your whole friendship yeah, yeah, has yeah, been. Yeah, yeah. We, we, hear me, we text all day, but I, like, on Twitter, throw some shade at me tonight. And, you guys uh, have more beef than Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the beef? Uh, with Darren and Will. With Darren and Will. They that's stole where the all the beef. <laughs> Where's yeah, yeah. the beef would be a good podcast about like beefs happening in the in the like gossip I world think I think, or whatever. Oh, that's a way better thing. I like get a bunch of girls happening. or no, just get a bunch of girls that. together or just a new interview with a new cow every week. <laughs> Whoa! I love that idea. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you guys listening. so much for listening to the Valley Cast. I l- we love you all. Thank you, Will, for coming. Check him out on William Haynes and all the Twitters and shit. And he's on Red Link and stuff. Thank William you for Haynes. bringing all your gifts, Will. Yeah, no ta- d- Will, do not, do never do that again. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're taking anymore, and now I'm terrified of letting you into my home. He legitimately anymore. is angry. You know uh, that, right? No, I'm not legitimately dudes. angry. Just don't, do don't not do lose again. any of this, you know please. I lose things a lot. All right, I love you guys so much. I love you, Will. I love you, Joe. I love you, Lee. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.